everyone welcome to another video and in this video i am going to talk about coronavirus i know this video is due a long time but finally i'm here with numbers with data and i just wanted to make sure that whatever the information i'm giving to you it's correct but things have been changing so fast here when this video is going to go live these are the numbers uh in the united states and when i'm filming this it's over 500000 just in the us and over 150000 just in new york so yeah things ha not have been pretty but i wanted to make a video and then i went and research and research and more research so this video is going to be divided into three parts in the first video i'm going to talk about the situation right now the layoffs what the government has been doing what the government hasn't been doing the industries where there are mass layoffs in the second video i'm going to talk about h1b and why it is here to stay and in the third video i'm going to talk about how it is affecting international students international population in the united states and what the future looks like so let's just get into the first video i want to start this video by just saying how well india has been handling this situation closing off the whole country for 21 days makes just so much sense and i'll tell you why us hasn't done that there's definitely a limit of power on how much federal government can control but state governments rules on public safety and health supersedes what the federal government says until unless federal governments implements martial law which hasn't happened yet in california where work from home was implemented much earlier and much better the cases hasn't been increasing that drastically as compared to new york now where i am i am in arizona i'm in phoenix arizona and in phoenix arizona they are saying that we are four weeks out so we are going to see the same number of cases in four weeks when i talk about the industries which are being hit major uh and i'm going to use a word furlough a lot in this video what furlough means is uh, a furlough is a temporary leave of employees due to a special needs of a company or employer which may be due to economic conditions at the specific employer or in the economy as a whole so a lot of companies are furloughing uh people and the major industries which are being hit is uh recreation and travel hotels airlines airbnb has taken a big hit so what has happened here is since there's no flights going in and now flights which are costing like 400 500 are now 70 80 100 most of the hotels are closed so they have given a leave of absence to their uh, employees same with airbnb a uh, house for three bedroom which you would get for like around 150 to 200 dollars now you can get that for 70 80 dollars now the problem which is going to get big in terms of these airbnb's fees is that people are not going to travel and some of the people have 10 listings on airbnb when they have 10 listings they have to pay a emi to the bank every month when they're not making any money how does the bank expect the people to pay to the bank itself wellness and fitness is a big one which has taken a hit non profit organization right now all the people who are contributing any kind of money is is to corona virus and not to any other non profit industry another big industry which has been hit is uh, education all the universities are closed down you can't access any of the recreation center any campus all the people are working from home zoom university is uh, is in action zoom is one of the companies which is making a lot of money out of it retail has been hit when i talk about retail i'm talking about the clothing uh, brands like h&m macy's where people used to go and buy instead of online shopping store and businesses such as um, starbucks you can't have anyone inside restaurants you can't have anyone inside those are the people who are laying off another big one bird uh there's a very famous electric scooter company they have laid off 30% of their staff what else since uh since also everyone is home right now people are not driving anymore so insurance companies car insurance companies so they are reducing the per month premium that means you instead of paying let's say i am paying 100 dollars in earlier months now that i'm not driving that much i would be paying around uh, 80 maybe 70 dollars i also have a chart and i'm going to put it right here on the screen the top 10 fastest growing e-commerce product categories and also the top 10 fastest declining e-commerce product categories disposable gloves up 670% bread machines cuff medicines soups rice and dried grains packaged goods 
the top 10 fastest declining would be luggage briefcases cameras men's swimwear bridal wear these are the industries which are associated to travel for example luggages or briefcases and cameras as well people are not buying that anymore also here here is an example on how things work basically so if one industry hit well if one industry is hit there are majority of other industries which are going to get hit as well if a car factory has to be closed down its suppliers like glass steel rubber industries would have a big hole as well now let's let's talk about how it is affecting international students quickly and i'm going to talk about interna i'm going to talk about international students more in descriptive matter in my third video a lot of companies are starting to transfer their employees and just not international students or a lot of employees from salaried basis to hourly basis they're not laying off first of all uh they are transferring you from salaried which is you're getting paid for all 40 hours per week now you might be getting paid for 32 hours per week or 24 hours per week that is definitely less but again having a job is more important right now yes people are getting laid off and uh, if you're on h1b or on opt you have 60 days to find another job otherwise you'll have to travel back currently what we are seeing is i don't think you'll be able to travel to india even if you lose your job and since industries are on hiring freeze there are not a lot of companies which are hiring so yeah things haven't been the best right now and it's impossible for me or anyone to say where we are heading uh because because of because of such a dynamic nature of this virus and how things are getting affected i was just talking to my roommate as well about this that how one of their plants in germany has closed down and that is uh getting that is affecting their delivery timings thank you so much guys for watching this one i know this video was so much of bad news but uh, i will talk a lot about why h1b is here to stay and that video is going to come tomorrow so stay tuned for the next one and uh, until then i'll see you in the next one thank you